jackpot! <laughs> that was so much harder than anticipated, especially with the wind and the butt crack and the feet and the blisters and everything, really. <laughs> Control yourself, man. God damn, will you put on some pants? And we actually did something special. So we have both my sister Lucia and Nora uh, visiting uh, and we spent some time in Vegas having fun yesterday night. Uh, we, we didn't stay late, but it was really fun. Change only, 10,000. All right, the strategy today is to have fun and also to not run too much and hurt myself. So I'm doing the 24 hour race this time. So I can do the distance I want. I was supposed to do the 100 mile. I'm slightly having some tendonitis in my Achilles. So if it's going wrong, I will just stop after two, three hours. I realize that the more race I do, the more I come into a routine of what I need to do in the morning. And you know, after 20, more than 20, 100 mile, I feel that I have that well settled. So things like how to take care of your feet so they don't hurt during the race, what to eat before the race, during the race. Jackpot Ultra is a pretty cool race. If you wanna, if you wanna do a fast 100 mile, that's the place to go. That's where they do the championship. Just a shot of your balls. <laughs> hey bro, you mind putting on some pants? I find it a little weird, I have to ask twice. Pants at a time like this, I don't have any pants. It's, it's still a hundred mile. It's still a really big deal. It's never easy, but this is not my A race. So if things don't go well, the primary objective today is to not get injured and to practice a few things. So what I'm going to practice today is a head of bad water. Uh, I'm going to run with the gear that I want to run on bad water because as much as possible, you should avoid anything new on race day, running with your shorts and your underwear and your t-shirt, because if it starts chafing <laughs> during a hundred mile, that, that can be enough to drop you there from the race. Did you see that? Hey guys, we're in Vegas and we're running the 24 hour jackpot this weekend.
nine, eight, seven, six, Showtime. five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right, Jackpot winners, ladies and gentlemen. Twenty four hours, let's take it slow. So this is a two mile course, and one thing I decided to do was every time I passed the start finish, so every two miles. I'm gonna say a word or two to record how I'm progressing mentally and physically. One lap, energized. So I haven't planned what kind of stuff I'll talk about today, of course, because I'm not like that. Number one tip, you have to have your end goal, but then you need to break it down to reach that. And if you're looking for a quick fix, you know, five tips to run 100 miles. You're thinking about it wrong. When it comes to races like that, you're not trying to optimize, you're trying to solve problem. You don't know everything ever, and you can always improve. And having that mindset helps you reach goals that are unachievable otherwise. Lab two, warmed up. Lap three, in the zone. I think if you want to do something great, you always have to get outside of your comfort zone. This race is really not my type of race. And bad water this summer, even less so. Heat of the desert, pavement, flat for a long time. That sounds terrible. But if you always do the same thing, you're, you're never gonna progress. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Lap four, strong. The cool thing about this race is that it's in a park and people go and walk their dog. So every lap, you get four or five dogs at least. This is my kind of race. Lap five, peaceful. All right, lap six. Hmm. Lap six, hot. Some people worry about running a hundred mile and it's being dangerous. Actually some race weight you at the beginning of the race and during the race to make sure you don't lose too much body weight because obviously it's a sign of dehydration and you're about to shut down. But this race is not, which is great because lap seven, bloated. I took a poop that was so big, I think I would have been disqualified. Lap eight, steady. Hey, shout out to the, I guess, Boy Scout or something, cleaning the park. It's really nice. All right, lap nine, hopeful. Lap 10, yeah. gassy. Yeah. 
know the course, know the aid station, know what's difficult, what the temperature will be, is it technical. And as you work up towards the event, when you train long before, you can just practice running and fitness, but the closer you get to it, you need to train specifically for what you're gonna face. So for example, for bad water this, this uh, summer, when we'll be very close to it, a lot of it will just be heat training. The weeks before Leadville, I'm mostly just hiking in the mountain to get used to altitude, nothing else matters. So read and research your race. And what I would say is like, look at the YouTube videos. If, if I've raced it, for example, I try to include how I feel at different times. And you, can, and you can expect to feel the same. Like maybe there's a climb, it's in the middle of the day and you will hear me bitch about how hot it is. Flap 11, sore. Lap 12, foggy brain. Starting to hit me. I'm getting more and more tired. It's not a spot. Just keeping up. Not going crazy. Lap 13, pain. I've been keeping my mind busy, really just disconnecting, going on a autopilot. But I'm very much starting to feel like in my legs right now. I'll just keep going, keep going slowly. Lap 14, <laughs> repetitive. I'm slowly getting pooped out right now. So one third of the way there. I guess it's normal. I could slow down a little bit though. Lap 15, pain. It's super windy. Run your race. Don't care about anyone else. Go at your pace, not faster. If you feel tired, slow down. It's super important. Otherwise you're gonna poop yourself. I believe 17, second wind. There's some Canadian goose that flew all the way from Canada just to cheer me. Also brings me back to when I started ultra running was the beginning of COVID and down in Cambridge, nobody was in the street except goose. It was, it was a little scary and sketchy. They would come in big groups and block the road.
flap 18. Let's get it done. You run a lot, but it feels it's not moving. 40, 41 just seems stuck in time. And there's so much left to do. Lap 19, help has arrived. Hopeful. Always feels so great to have support. I mean, the volunteers are there, which is awesome, but then someone you know. And something special this time around that it's my birthday. That's why Sister Lucci is visiting us. It's really a boost of moral, and I love that. Lap 21. Stay hard. Yesterday was the US Championship 100 mile road. A lot of contestants, they're 80 to 85 years old, so that's very impressive. My hats to you, my good sir. That was very impressive. hard mentally to cross the halfway because you're thinking damn I have to do everything I did again what I do I start counting negative so now I have 49 48 and that feels that feels somehow better the night is slowly coming if the wind continues like that it's gonna be really cold Lap 23, sunset. Energy and like motivation really comes in wave in a race like that. And right now I'm in a high. When you're in a high, you always remember that it won't stay high forever. And when you're in the low, just remember it won't stay low forever. It just goes up and down, ride the waves. Lap 24, painful legs. Twenty-five, moving forward. Twenty-six. Mm, new friends. 27 pain been running for a very long time well over 60 miles so 100k but it's really catching up to me right now I'm struggling a lot lap 28 cold of the last stage is a hypothermia. Steven, we've got to keep moving. We've 
gotta keep the blood flowing! Maybe we should strip these jackets off! Twenty-nine sleepwalking. Lap thirty, struggling. Lap thirty one, determination. I've been doing a mix of mostly walking and a little bit of running for a while now, but I might need to reserve, re return to only walking. Lap 32, no ramen. <laughs> okay. All together. Okay. Thank you for being Yay! here. Love you. Thank you. Lap 33, sleepwalking again. So tired. Thirty-four, I'm done for. Everything hurts right now. Not only walking, I'm walking slow and I had to stop at the aid station. It's also getting pretty cold. I'm starting to doubt myself. Lap 35, pushing hard. Lap 36 lap, hopeful. Lap 37, slowing down. Really struggling. I hope I can finish 24. Under 24 now, it's not even aiming for a good time. I'm just struggling so much. Lap 38, totally destroyed. All right, so apparently I'm slowing down significantly, even though I'm pushing as hard as I can to walk fast. 39, nap. I have to take a nap. I'm feeling better. Ish. I hit the wall hard. But oh, we'll make it work. Lap 40. Let's finish strong. Lap 41. Nothing left in the tank. Lap 42, there is hope. Even with only two laps left, I had to take a nap. We're almost there. So I think Nora will probably arrive just before I start my last lap. So maybe she'll do it with me and then sleep. <laughs> I need to sleep. It's beautiful, even though it's not supposed to be beautiful here. That's pretty cool, that's a nice sunrise. Beautiful color. Lap 43. Uh, lap 43. That's it. Look who I found for this lap. Okay.
okay, okay. I'm very happy to be done. <laughs> you know, it's not fun to bleed out of your ass. Did you know that? Jackpot! <laughs> that was so much harder than anticipated. Especially with the wind and the butt crack and the feet and the blisters and everything really. I've been locked in a f***ing icebox all day. You were already dead, you didn't have a pulse. Sometime your heart stop, start up again. Read a book. I went so well until mile 65. I was on pace to do like 18 or 20 hour and then... Look, I'm sorry, we're just having a bad day. Did you die? I got shot. But did you die? But we're done. And it was a great adventure to do it with Nora and, uh, and Luchi. That was so fun. Why can't we remember a goddamn thing from last night? Because we obviously had a great time.